Watch you guys, today we'll take a look at the Windows 11 version you always wanted. This is Windows 11 LOT Enterprise LTSC, and you can now download it from Microsoft's website. Now, remember, this is a 90-day elevation trial, so you will need to purchase a license key for this particular version of Windows. And this version of Windows is generally targeted uh, towards fixed functional special purpose devices that require a long a support life cycle of 10 years. These devices are typically found in industries including banking, quick service restaurants, healthcare, hospitality, and also manufacturing and retail. So this is what this operating system is designed for. And that means all of the fluff or the filler that is uh, bloated into the versions of Windows that home users use because companies are not going to be using things like Copilot or Recall or any of that other bloat that comes with Windows versions, because a lot of these point of sale uh, setups, which is what this is designed for, is to just run on systems and have very lightweight usage. They don't need any of that stuff. And this is what people have been crying for. A lot of people will want to use something like this on their home system, and you can. And some people have been using it on their home system on Windows 10 because of the long uh, support cycle of these. Uh, you get a lot longer uh, for security updates. For instance, Windows 10, if you've got this version of Windows 10, uh, you can have up to 2,000, I think, and 35, or even a little bit less than that. But it's still a long way off of end of life for Windows 10 if you have this license. So this is the Windows 11 version. And if we look down for the optional minimal requirements, you can see here there are some minimal requirements uh, that are required and there's some optional stuff and it's TPM and it's also secure boot which you don't need to have so this is ideal for a lot of people that don't have supported hardware you could run this on unsupported hardware legally and a lot of these old systems that are running point of sale or anything like that they are running old computers and they won't have the TPM or secure boot or all these other features that are needed on a home computer. So basically, they give you the option to run it uh, with no uh, a, you know, TPM or secure boot, or you can run it on a BIOS firmware setup, or you can even install it as a UEFI with TPM 2.0 and also with secure boot enabled and DirectX uh, 12. So there's your options. But before we continue with this, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 or cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. All you need to do is head over to their website, create an account, and use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases over on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, you can use PayPal, they will then send you to your key, and you can then basically activate your version of Windows just like you see on the screen right here. Okay, so let's get this installed on the system and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. I'll speed through the installation process just so you're not getting bored. But you can install this, like I said, on a BIOS setup. And it's also going to be for people that don't want TPM 2.0 or they don't want to have secure boot and all these other false features that you're going to be getting with your home version of Windows 11. So we'll go through the motions here. Again, you can use a normal local account you don't need to have a microsoft account with this i'm going to do the big update that they're asking me to do just to see whether they embed any sort of copilot or any of that other bloat that comes with normal versions of windows so we'll get through this part here and we'll get to the desktop and we'll take a look at some of the features that this has because it's very minimal now i'm not saying it's going to be completely 100 percent telemetry free but it is going to be the best you're going to get from a windows based operating system which has very minimal uh, blow inside of it so here you can already see that it's very clean so i'm just going to go full screen here and we can take a closer look at some of the settings here so this is exactly what you're going to get when you install it uh, so you're going to get a very minimalistic uh, type of taskbar here with stuff on here if you can see here, all of the apps have been removed. You can go even further here and uninstall some of this other stuff here if you wanted to. But again, it's very minimal that you're not going to get any of the other bloat inside here like you would get on a normal Windows 11 Home or Pro version of Windows because that is going to come with all the bloat. So let's go into the settings and go to system here and we'll look at the about page. And you see we are running version 24H2 and we are 
running this edition here, which we just talked about. And this is the version that we're running on this virtual machine. Now, we only have a 90 day uh, trial period on here and we need to activate this uh, to make it a permanent feature. Uh, and it's not the standard activation as you would get with a normal Windows 11. You can see BitLocker hasn't been turned on by default. So this is off, which is a good thing for those people that don't want BitLocker enabled uh, when installing. I'm just going to download and install all of these updates here to make sure there's no added features inside here so we can check. And what we'll do here is we'll go down and look at some of the apps and some of the other features on here. So let's go to personalization here. And let's go down to where it says taskbar here and click on this. And you can see there's very minimal here. There's no copilot. There's no other stuff like widgets and things like that, that you have to go in and turn off. They're just removed from here altogether. And the good thing as well is that it means that you don't have to go in and start running scripts to debloat the operating system because it's already had a lot of stuff removed from it to save you having to go through the whole process of having to do that yourself. So it means it's going to be easier to manage. There's only a few settings that you need to go in here and just turn off. And you can do that in the group policy editor. And you can follow some of my other videos to show you how to do that. Like this area here, privacy and security, there is areas here that you might need to go in and turn some of this stuff off. You can do it in a registry or you can do it in group policy editor, which is probably the better way of doing things. But you can see it's very minimal. There is a few things here that you might want to turn off. And again, like I said, you can do that in the group policy editor. Now, one thing I don't understand is why Microsoft don't give you this option in the first place. Why don't they just give you an option to use an operating system like this instead of forcing you to sign into Microsoft accounts and use uh, AI on your system or even use recall or any of these future uh, you know, upgrades that they're talking about. Why don't they give you the option to run a very minimalistic type of operating system like this, where you can just turn a few features off with one button and it'll be done because that's what most people want. They want to have a much more lighter, cleaner system and you won't have to use scripts ever again. And that's what people really need. Now, the problem is with scripts, when you use them, they end up breaking your system or turning things off or removing things that you need later on down the line. And this is where problems uh, come about. Look at the apps installed on here. There's hardly anything apart from Microsoft Edge. And that's no big deal. You can opt out of that if you live in the EU and uninstall it. So, And there is ways of uninstalling it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and download and install the rest of these updates here. And then we can check back again. But I can honestly say this is a version of Windows that I will probably use myself and, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot more easier to manage than some of the other versions. All of the web search and the cloud stuff has all been already turned off. There's none of it inside here. You've got legacy apps already installed, uh, like calculator and things like that. Again, you've got your uh, group policy editor. You can go in and do some basic changes inside here, which I've shown you in many different videos to turn a lot of the features off. And uh, once you've done this, you should have a very lightweight, clean system without having to worry about all of this stuff. And once you've done some of this, you can go back into your settings and uh, go through here and you'll see a lot of this stuff has now been turned off inside the group policy exactly how you want it. I can even turn these off in the group policy just on a couple just to show you here. But I can honestly say this version of Windows 11 is exactly what people wanted and what people would want. And if they rolled this out to the general public, with a normal Windows license, there's going to be people that will use it because let me tell you, it is a lot better than what it is with all the other stuff, uh, you know, all the other bloat that no one wants. Now, I'm not saying that people don't want AI, but AI really to me is just pointless. All it's doing is just going off on the internet and finding some uh, post about something and then telling you about it rather than you going to search for it. That's all AI is doing. So let me know in the comment section below whether you would use something like this with a much lighter uh, version of it and uh, whether that would interest you. I'd be interested to read your comments. Now, of course, you're going to get the odd person that really doesn't like Microsoft and they just don't like Windows 11 for whatever reason. And it doesn't matter what version they offer of Windows 11. They're just not going to want to use it. And maybe they've got some uh, axe to grind with uh, Microsoft, but I'm not interested in those comments 
But anyway, that's going to be about it. So let me know your thoughts. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.